to Kicking It With Sensei, and today we're joined by Ron Smorenberg. I hope I've pronounced that right. Yep. Ron's a, a yeah, Ron's a martial artist, um, actor, and fight choreographer from Holland, and worked in some of the biggest movies in action history, really. And could you give a little bit of background into your martial arts, Ron? Uh, yes. When I was young, I started judo. And I didn't really like it because I got tossed around. Yeah. And so, so I had a break. But then uh, I, I was skinny. I was insecure. So at some point, I, when I was 12, there was a karate kid on a, on a birthday party. Yeah. And this was this insecure kid who got like, you know, who got empowered by karate with the master. And, and at, the, at the same time, there was the, the master on TV. The master, this TV series with ninjas yeah. and stuff. We were crazy about martial arts. So I joined karate, Kyokushin Kai, and it was yeah. tough. So I did that for many years. I became a teacher, uh, second degree black belt. And then we wanted to do more full contact because we wanted to have a little bit more challenge, yeah. me and my partner. So we, we, we joined uh, Free Fight. Free Fight is before MMA. They start to experiment, you know, like, like it, yeah. later it, they call it MMA. First, it's called, it was free fight in Holland. Yeah. So you, you literally had the judo guy fighting at a taekwondo. Or it was more like the first UFCs. It was a little bit like that. Yeah. And there, there was, I learned so much there. I did it for nine years. Yeah. Uh, I can still use that in movies. And in between, I did Hapido, Aikido, all those martial arts. I just yeah. wanted to get all around. Even taekwondo, but it's not my base. So yeah. if you think about the kicks, right? That, that's yeah. coming from movies. That's from the movies, yeah, like yeah. Van Damme. Yeah. And, and yeah. who would have been your big influences on martial arts in your early days? My, my influences, you mean, like yeah. my big... Uh, well, it is weird to say, but it was, it, was even, it was even Rocky, like the Rocky movies. Yeah. It was Van Damme, of course, right? Bloodsport, <laughs> of course. Yeah. But at the, in the beginning, it was even the, the Ninja movies and J Jackie Chan. We had we had young master on TV. You know when he fights at the end with this with this master, happy yeah. master with the yeah. kicks and the locks. Yeah, and that fight I've seen that like a uh, hundred times. Uh, Bloodsport, of course, right? Bloodsport I was watching action. that. I, I had this video play. I wake up, I, I play it, and I train on it. It's yeah. like that. <laughs> Probably you as well. Like I think everybody did. <laughs> yeah, we all did. We all did. Now you <laughs> mentioned Jackie Chan. There, you kind of got your big break in the movies on Who Am I with Jackie yeah. Chan. Now, how did you land that part, and how was it working with Jackie? Okay, well, that's um, uh, that, that's of course a long story. Yeah. But um, I was, I always, I always say in the open, I want to play action movies. And and when I was working in the office. My boss said, hey, Jackie is in, uh, is in Holland. You want to do action movies, right? I said, yeah. He said, there's the casting. They need like extras yeah, in the background. He said, okay, I need a break. So I got a break and I, I make this kind of videotape, yeah. like like pretending I'm some kind of action guy. Yeah. And I send it to casting and I, I became an extra on the set. Yeah. So being on set there, I just wanted to find my moment Right, to show Jackie like I can kick or something. Yeah. I just had the record highest kick, 11 yeah. feet. So so I, I thought I had a chance, but there's no chance. They not even look at you. They just do their thing. And, yeah. and so there was a Dutch stunt team who, uh, who didn't want to help me. I asked them, they said, no, you jump from the building first and then we see, they're just joking. And, and they, they wanted to do more themselves as well. So for them, it was hard. Yeah. Uh, and then a, a member of Jackie Chan team, Guy with no hair, he, he plays in a lot of old, older Jackie Chan movies. Yeah, he said, Give me your show wheel, and I didn't know what it was. I know it's a tape now. We know it's a tape videotape. Yeah. Uh, you put your best yeah. stuff on it, and I always did those, um, those demos of music. So, yeah. combined with the highest kick, I gave it the next day, my last day on set as extra. This was my only chance, and, and luckily, they played this in the, in the lunch break. Yeah. And Jackie probably saw that. They were like, who is this guy? Probably. So I had to show it in real. So they called me over. And what you do on the tape? Show it in real right now. And there were lots of people watching with cameras in the corners. Yeah. 
And so now I was okay with leg holding. That was my kind of thing when I did the yeah. forms. And leg holding was my strong point. So they were like, okay. And then I had to do like um, one combo. And it was luckily a little bit like what I do in those demos. You know, like you react, you look back and, yeah. and it worked. It worked. Um, just basic, but it worked. And then they start to measure my measurements. And they said, you know, Ron, you have the end fight in the movie. You're the best of 20 guys doing audition for this. What I didn't know is they actually replaced someone else in the movie. And that's a guy with blonde hair. He's, 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 I think it's Mike Lambert, Mike Ian Lambert. He did Black Mask. He was there the whole movie and then he disappears. And then, so what really happened behind the scenes, you never know. Yeah. But I found out later. And that's why the, 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 some stuntmen were not really happy that I got this because it's, it's, it's their friends. Right, yeah. so yeah, so yeah, and then uh, and then the Dutch stuntman found out that, that I got this part, and of course, yeah, of course they they don't really like that. Yeah. Uh, so there was some funny stuff going on uh, before the first day on set, basically. Yeah, and then you you are on set with Jackie, and even Scott Atkins said it in an interview, and Andy Chang, yeah, he's one of the. Uh, coordinators, Jackie, like, yeah, you put on suit of Ron and then, and there he is with Jackie, you know, and then let's go. Now, <clears throat> the first uh, things went really well. Like I had to do like a, a front kick, round kick, kick over and hold the leg, right? With the jacket. That all worked well. And then, and then they got this, the stun, some, some stun double in, to do some combo and they didn't let me do this. And then later uh, we, we move on with the fight, and then uh, and then some kind of documentary team came, and and and, and, and Jackie got a little bit more difficult <laughs> with the combos, yeah. and it was like a very long combo, and then I didn't really figure out what I did wrong, but supposedly I came too close, but but I break this down in another video, yeah. that actually, yeah, it's a little bit funny how that documentary is twisted, so yeah. it made me in a bad daylight basically. Which, uh, which, which actually this, this fight was good because after that I picked up on, on the tempo, you know, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. And you can see that when I'm on the railing uh, near the edge of the building, yeah. without wires though. And, it, you know, I got the tempo and I really liked it. And, but they, they should have showed that, you know, yeah. and then, then the story would have been much positiver, more positive. Maybe it didn't fit the, the narrative of, of this documentary. Yeah, but it could have been a beautiful story, and and uh, it is my dream come true, basically. Excellent. So yeah, I told it as powerful as possible. Yeah. but then of course, there's <laughs> more details, huh? There's more details. Excellent. Right? Now you've worked as a fight choreographer and a long list of movies. Now, what's your process when you're doing that? Do you have the fight in your head before you start, or do you build it as you go along? Hmm. Of course, I have to know the. Um, taste of the fight like what kind of fight is it more realistic or more martial arts or first you need to know and i do my kind of research i think every fight needs to have something special yeah. so it's like a music song like a song right you have a, a beginning a middle an end and, in the, and you fill it in and you have those highlights yeah. right so you need to have those key moments for sure but that's number one um then you have to see the characters like, like, what are the gimmicks of the characters? For example, this guy had this gimmick, like Bruce Lee, right? <laughs> this guy had, like in my case, right? break the neck. You yeah. have to add that, right? You have to add flavor to that. And and I learned something from Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen is very smart. He he let people train first. So, so we go to the dojo, yeah. do your moves, and he just watch you. Like... Like, what is this guy's best moves, right? And and then he, he remembers that. So he asks you also, show me your best stuff. So based on your highlights, this is great. On your highlights, he makes the fight. So what, what is your, that flower is open. What is your optimized version? And other coordinators, to compare, they don't do that. They don't even know what, what you can do, actually. They just yeah. think about their own moves. And then, okay, uh, uh, hook, duck, this all this basic stuff, but they don't optimize you. And that can go wrong in, in some big movies. Yeah. You know, I believe in uh, everybody needs to be the best version of themselves. And Jackie is good with that, right? And who am I? He let me show all my stuff. 
and 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 but but not everyone is like that. But I'm like that, right? I learned yeah. from Donny. So I, I tell the guy, show me your best moves. Okay. So we make those highlights, and sometimes I ask like, at this moment you need a big fall or we need a, uh, your highest kick. What can you do? Show me, show me two of your highest kicks, right? And then, yeah. and then okay, let's take number two. So I still decide, and then and then from the opponent as well, and then it comes together. And I have another good example when I do choreography with when I fight someone. Yeah. A guy called Mark Stas. I, I always mention him. He's an amazing wing flow. It's like Wing Chun, but like yeah, this version. Really cool guy, yeah. And you know what? The answer of the choreo is what we would do in real. So, for example, I said, okay, Mark, I start with my first combo, right? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now I end with this one. How would you react on this? Yeah. And then he said, okay, I can do this, this. I said, that's great. Because if you do that, then I can react with this special kick. How would you block this? And then he said, oh, I have my answer. So, before you know, Based on tactical tactical uh, questions and answers, you solve the fight, and so yeah. you put your best moves in. It's tactical, right? It's not. It doesn't look fake because what would you do when you're standing here? Well, I would elbow you, right? I will not, right? Yeah. So it looks real, and and that's that's how I do it with, with the, the evolved martial artists because they have already the answer. They have the style. But for some people, you have to create it, right? Like, I think now you should do this, and you look good when you do that. Right? For ladies, open hand, right? We add a little bit of flavor to them, and they love it. They love it. It's, it's very cool. It's like a video game almost. I compare it with that, video game characters. Excellent. And what systems or styles do you think works best for fight chore choreography and movies? Um, you know, I believe in, uh, in any style. I think... You can make any style look good. Nowadays, you even see like BJJ, they have it, the rolling, they, they have ways of shooting that when they go yeah. on top and they, I think you can make anything look good. But for me, I like kicks, of course, but but I, I like the combination of a lot of styles. Like, like, like Aikido is a lot of twisting. So for example, when you kick a big move into a punch, then into Aikido. So you take over, you can rotate. Yeah. And, and, and the combination is actually very interesting. And I use even breakdance because if you analyze those breakdance moves, right? You can have some very cool shots, you know, like the upside down kicks and and the yeah. camera goes like, you know, goes with it or or it's very cool. Yeah. And and when I saw this team of breakdancers back in 2000, I was impressed. I said, I want to learn those moves. I want to fight with that. Yeah. Just an example. Definitely. And... Now, you've worked with a lot of big stars, Donna Yen, yeah. Jackie Chan, Scott Atkins, as you named already. Now, yeah. Who has been the fastest that you've, that you've trained with? Wow. Uh, well, I didn't fight with Donny himself, but he's, he's, I think he's the fastest. Like, he, he likes to that fast stuff. Yeah. And, and I think he might even be more demanding than Jackie almost. You know where you see him, Yip Man, right? Yeah. Uh, Mark, Mark Stas, I fought in English Dogs. Uh, he's super fast. Jackie, of course, is fast, but he has his tempo, so you can count now. Yeah. I think Mark Stas. Man, you don't see the punches coming, and, and he, he, he hit you two times in one. So when you, that is also his style, wing flow. So when you block, basically you're too late. So yeah. you block, you're ready, bam, get something in the face, even a slap or something. Yeah. So it's very cool, and he's so quick, and and uh, it's amazing, like like uh, the speed, and of course, even, but even Tony Jaa is quick. You know, yeah. surprisingly, Seagal and Van Damme, they are, they have a little bit different tempo, right? It's yeah. more like one shot or yeah. one two. If yeah. you break that down, Kane Kasuki, you know, he's he's yeah. a little bit in the middle, powerful. You know, the son of uh, you, you know you know the in pray for that he was still a kid. With his dad, um, I forgot his name. His, his father was a famous ninja, Shokusuki. Of course, Shokusuki. Yeah. Yeah, we fought him, uh, Gary Daniels. But but sometimes the people are also powerful, so they may be less fast, but they're very strong. So yeah. they can sell it like like because sometimes when you're too quick, 
yeah. it maybe look like you know all these chain punches it looks a little bit like like uh, i don't know so so i like both yeah and for me i i am a bigger guy i want to be fast and i want to be uh strong that's for my style both and and for me for a little bit bigger guy i'm 100 kilos this is my aim to be you know to be really quick you know to so I have this kind of style called recharge, which kind of, I, I designed it like bounce off, you know, like chain lightning. Yeah. So when you hit something, pop, pop, it bounces off in, in a hit into another hit. Yeah. And, and instead of taking it back like karate, you just keep going. And okay. it's nice, it, it works, the concept. And I'm, I'm building on that like a new character. Excellent. And it just goes by itself. You just make ideas, shoot it, check in the night, if it if it's okay or not, yeah. And then we test it with my with my students. <laughs> I test it with my students. They love it, you know. I tell them the truth. I said, hey, guys, I have to test a new combo with you guys, and then and then we do it. So yeah, yeah I think that's how do. it's a little bit going. We we all do that now, Chris, and our students be the guinea pig, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, in a good way, you know. They love it because good way. you know they they learn also the new stuff. So. So we are still inspired by, yes. it's not just teaching. The teachers are maybe even more inspired than the students, you know, and then yeah. you can transfer this, uh, or at least as inspired, yeah. because else else you, you get into your own world and then you, you, you're not develop anymore. And, and I think students can pick up on that and then it will bleed to death slowly. Yeah. So it's always good to be on top just for yourself. I, I, because I just love it. Right, there's so much to learn, man. If, if you see uh, all these video game characters and moves, you, you have to choose. You cannot even do everything. You have definitely. to choose. Like, I pick this one. I like this. And then we adapt it. Right? You have to Excellent. configurate your own character, basically. Yeah. You, yeah? Like like those video games. Speed, power, yeah. look. And it's that combination which maybe can sell you for yeah. movies and some guys said oh you're getting older right well that's fine uh let's let's be different then let's be old and be fast and and still kick yeah uh yeah what's your top favorite martial arts films of all time your top five maybe oh that's a good question wow well to be honest maybe it's just the feeling what it gave me that time I i'm yeah. sure there's very good martial art movies right now I, uh, to, to put in general, I, I miss a lot of motivation and life power in movies these days. Yeah. Like it's a lot of killing and shooting and, and even the big names of movies. Sorry, guys, but I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> so they're not in this period, to be honest. Very rare. Maybe the undisputed one, that, that's, that's getting closest. But all the other ones, I'm sorry, guys. The Marvel doesn't do it for me. So let's go back in time. Yeah. So... Of course, number one for me, uh, Bloodsport, number one, right? Excellent. I've seen that movie so much, right? I think number two, I think that would be The Young Master from Jackie Chan because, because of this end fight and this whole journey and then this very good kicker escapes in the movie and he's doing all these big kicks. I think Young Master. Uh, three would be No Retreat, No Surrender from Van Damme, oh, Karate okay. Tiger. Uh, in the dojo, and he becomes the bad guy. This big fight at the end. I think number four, it is not even real martial art. It's like Rocky IV. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Dolph Lundgren. Like, like he, it's just his whole character, his look, the muscles, you know, you are a teenager, right? And I wanted, yeah. he have this, this wings here, you know, this, this, you know, I wanted oh. to have like that. So, you, you're young, you're in front of the mirror, right? You, you want to look like that. Yeah. Right? So that's number four. Number five is, um, I do like the movie Drive from from uh, Mark DeCascos. Because yeah. he did a little bit like the breakdance fighting in there. Like, uh, if you really check it out, uh, he did some Thomas Flair and, and some cool kicks and tricks. So that's more for the for the moves and stuff. And and I think that that's, that's a nice top five. For me, yeah, for me. Yeah, very, very similar to mine. But blood, blood sports one of the greatest films of all time. So, yeah, I think so. And I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a mix of everything. It's the music. I think good movies need good music. 
yeah. like Rocky, right? And and, and yeah. good training songs. Even No Retreat, No Surrender have uh, in the middle this when they get the kid, the, the boy. Yeah. There's some good music and, and Rocky and Bloodsport. So that's very important. I think that's the kind of ingredient you need. Yeah. And and where are the training scenes nowadays? Yeah. Right? It's just a little bit. And it's not this underdog training scenes anymore. And it's just like uh, the, the guys in black suit. Right? One comes around the corner, bam, 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 finish, shoot, pop, next. Right? And it just keeps <laughs> going on. And I'm like, I don't want to train watching them. I, I'm, I'm not jumping out of my chair. And, and But look at Karate Kid, right? Like the tournament at the end. Yeah. Like, you know, with that music and then oh man, you, you just can't sit down, right? It yeah. makes you stand up. So the question is, what is wrong these days? And I hear it from a lot of people. And I want to change that yeah. in my own movies, this stuff, like like to bring that back. Because I know what feeling it gives. Yeah. Maybe the new generation don't even know what it is. Yeah. But, but man, we know. And a lot know, of people, yeah. other people know what that is from the older generation. I want to bring it back. Excellent. And the underdog and, and real training. The opponents need to be better than you. And, yeah. and Jackie is good with that, huh? Yeah, Jackie, Jackie is good with that because he always have like good opponents, like uh, Wang Zhang Li, you know those kickers. <laughs> and, and 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 Jackie's uh, he's very good with that. Benny the Jets, right? Brad Allen, of course, gorgeous. And and yeah. that matchmaking make you watch it, even when you when you get hit. Some actors don't want to get hit anymore. Like they just want to be handsome and look good, but then, then it's not a fight. It's more like a showcase. Yeah. Right. Definitely. I think that um, I can talk forever just yeah. uh, about this, but but this is a little bit what I think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And speaking of your own movies, what can we expect to see you next? Have you any projects in the pipeline at the moment? I do. I do. I did some movies in China, like uh, the Legend Hunters, and and in those projects. You more like supporting cast yeah. because yeah they already have their cast and as a foreigner there you you're not a real character so you're more like you're just bad or, 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 you know <laughs> uh, I have my own movie in production pre-production it's called the Last Fighter and this is a movie like you know what we talk about like the old <laughs> Rockies that's yeah. a movie and it's so beautiful and even when I tell the story to other people I, I'm almost crying myself. And it's very powerful, and and that that is my my, my big one, and I yeah. really want to do that good. Yeah. So I'm preparing for that, and now we we doing a, a bet that casino, which is a, like a gambling kind of movie yeah. and illegal fights and stuff, and uh, we're shooting that right now here in Bangkok. Even in COVID, you know, <laughs> guerrilla shooting sometimes, some cool fights. Yeah. Some great locations. Bangkok is great with that. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to do a movie with Alan Dalabi. He will come to Thailand. Or if it doesn't work out, COVID, I'll go to Europe. And uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot uh, some nice scenes. I'm a good guy in there. So now I want to be more like a good guy in movies. I've been that guy for 20 years. Yeah. Right? And, and I want to be a good guy right now. I think maybe I've been miscast. You know? So I let my hair grow a little bit. And, and, you know, you don't need to be Tom Cruise. You know, I think I just believe in character. And I think when you're older, you can carry more, you know. Like some people yeah. die around you. Some happy things happen. And you can carry more. And it shows in your face yeah. over all those years. And that is character. I believe in that. So some people say maybe you're too old. or I mean, come on. I, I'm the same age as some other actors. Like we're doing a lot of movies right now. It just starts. Yeah. Before that was just preparation. Now it just starts. And then a guy from 37 just contacted me. Oh, Ron, I'm too old. I said, man, I'm 10 years older than you. And for me, it just starts. Right? So, and he said, okay, you give me hope. Let's do it. I yeah. said, yeah, man, come on. Like, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Excellent. Now, you're quite famous for saying life is action. Yeah. Could you explain what that means to you? Okay. My wife said, you need to have some saying which really fits with you. And you have to yeah. make that. She said, what would it be? I said, well, well, life, uh, action for sure. Because, you know, I, I, in the night sometimes I don't sleep. Like it's always action, right? Yeah. And that, 
And life is action is a very deep. It's like don't give up on yourself. It, it is a lot of things in there. And it's just three words. And it is action. Like, like you are in charge of, 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 of your destiny. And, and you, you have more power than you think. Yeah. More. Like some people say, I, I am, I'm not in control of my life. And it's other things which, you know, or try to blame others. And sometimes yeah. I look like that myself, but it's not. I take responsibility for, for everything what happened to me. And maybe I wasn't good enough or maybe, you know, I, I always say you can, you can get what you carry. You get yeah. what you carry, like a pickup truck, right? It can have a certain amount of, yeah. same with acting and with the parts, right? If you, if you can't carry it, you won't get it. So life is action, is, is to keep going. And to, I think that also has to do with vision on the long term, right? Have a vision for the long term and all those dots of action, right? Despite of this vision, it's a long path. And, 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 yeah, it's in general. It's all your life, even when you are 60, 70 years old. Right? Life is still action. If, uh, sorry to say, but if I give my wife uh, a hug, right? And a, a big hug, right? I also <laughs> say life is action. It's also in, in other things. When you go yeah. shopping, when you eat, when, when you, you, you fight with your son for fun. Life is action, you know? And that's what it is. Excellent. Remember, yeah. me, remind me never to go shopping with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, live is actually, I just made a, by the way, I made, I don't know if you see it, but yeah. I just made a playlist for uh, I, a lot of people on, on, on YouTube, on my yeah. channel. And that's also live is actually, like I share my heart with, with the people. Like what are the songs which makes me go training, right? And it's also music. This is live is actually, it's even here. Ron Swanberg, Life is Action. And this is a, a song from Street Fighter, but there's a lot of other songs. And, and it's just empowering uh, others. It's basically the feeling I had when I was young from those movies. I want to transfer that to others. Maybe people are insecure, people who still identify themselves, right? And this is something to hold on to, what it did to me. I was a skinny guy. I got hit by a girl one time, you know? I got, yeah. I got almost raped by a girl in the swimming pool. And some big, big fat girl like was chasing me and I was skinny and I was scared. You know, I got beaten by a girl and I, I admit it. Yeah. So one time uh, there was this gang fight and I was, I was the tallest guy and I was in front. <laughs> and I was just standing and the other guy came and he just keep punching me in the stomach. And I was just standing, I didn't even do anything. Yeah. But now that changes because if there's any injustice in your life, what happened with my stunts, what I talk about in other interviews, you have to clear that. So now that would not happen again. Injustice yeah. in your life, you have to fight it with your life. Yeah. But for the rest, uh, don't blame others. But injustice, you have to correct that. Yeah. Because the worst thing is if things are not true about you and it's spreading around and, 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 and you know... Um, Nobody's evil in this world. We all have a dream, right? We all, we all, you cannot take that away yeah. from others, right? It's not right. And, and that's why I also love to be, uh, give people a chance. Of course, when they uh, step you in the back, there's no second chance. Yeah. That happens in this business quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but some people don't want to have shortcuts, right? But I'm coming from a long road. There's no shortcuts. There's some recent actors breaking through in the in this business, right? Yeah. The guys, some guys in Mortal Kombat, some guys in you know, but they are not all all new. Like if you check check back, they are already from back in two thousands. They already started, you know, with demos and things. And yeah, it is this is persistency. And again, back to life is action. Life is action is also persistence. It just it's always there, but. You don't need to force yourself for yeah. life is action. It is just being it. It's not like, okay, today I have to do life is action. No, it's just the way you are. It's just like that. You know? It's just yeah. being being like this. Yeah. And it, it is, yeah, it goes by itself. You, know? you wake up like that. And that is what I say with success. Success for some people is uh, having a lot of money, 
well, then I will do whatever. I will do Bitcoin or something if it's about money. You know, this business, guys, if you, if you think about money, go, go do Bitcoin and, uh, and do something else, guys, or whatever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I tell the truth. Of course, you'll make, you can make money at, at a certain point. It's great. For me, success is, is uh, waking up like this with a goal. Let's do this. Let's do our own movie. Let's change society. Bring back the, you know, the zombie culture we, we are in right now. You know, yeah. people in the phone and uh, and look like everybody is dead on the street nowadays. Sorry. Yeah. I want to change that. A little bit more passion in this world. Right? Like, where's your fire? Where's your life is actually? And, and sometimes, yeah, I don't know. It's the Society is changing. And, 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 and just let's, my goal is to give a little bit life back to, to, yeah. to people. So what I'm going to do in Last Fighter, in the background of, of, of all the shots, I reveal something. Everybody's in the phone. So for example, I'm having a good time with my girlfriend and romantic or we're yeah. going through some emotional stuff. The background, everybody's dead. And people might pick up on it. But yeah. those are elements, you know, those hidden things, I want to put it. Like yeah. things like that, you know, to, to get people a message. Like, come on, man, like, what are you doing? Right? Excellent. Uh, excellent. And yeah. thank you for coming on today, Ron. It was a, an honor to speak with you. And uh, Likewise. Sorry, some, some answers I make a little bit long, but because it's oh, close, it, you know. That's all good. That's all good. <laughs> and thank you. And yeah, the, anytime. Good luck with the movie and look forward to seeing it. We keep going and uh, yeah, every day is a mission. And yeah. I always say, guys, life is action. Oh, I want. I just want to say to everybody, everybody has a talent. Yeah. Everybody has something. It doesn't matter uh, how you look or what character you are. Everybody has something special. And you just need to be sure about that and find that. And then uh, go for that in life. There's no security. No. But you can disappear in some job and uh, please others. The best security is follow your dream and what you're really good at. And then everything yeah. will be all right. Yeah. No limits. Life is action. Thank you. you know. <laughs> all right. This is Thailand. Cool. Take care.